Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how the OceanGate co founder, known for the Titanic mission, now sets his sights on sending people to Venus. Guillermo Sonline, who is the co founder of OceanGate, said in an interview that the company now aims to send people to planet Venus by the year 2050 just weeks after the company's expedition to the sunken Titanic ship ended in five deaths. The US-based Ocean Gates submersible met with a catastrophic implosion that killed all five on board when it was on a voyage to see the century-old wreck of the Titanic. Those who lost their lives were the company's CEO, Stockton Rush, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood, and his son, Suleiman Dawood. UK businessman Hamish Harding, and submersible captain Paul Henry Najale. In an interview with Insider, Sonline, who is also the founder and chairman of Humans to Venus, said that he is hopeful his new company can host a colony of 1,000 humans on Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system. He said, forget OceanGate, forget Titan, forget Stockton. Humanity could be on the verge of a big breakthrough and not take advantage of it because we, as a species, are going to get shut down and pushed back into the status quo. Sonline added, sending humans to Venus. It is aspirational, but I think it's also very doable by 2050. Sonline co-founded OceanGate with Stockton Rush in 2009 and handed over the control of the company in 2013. He mentioned the results by NASA, which indicate that humans might exist in a portion of Venus's atmosphere 30 miles above the surface. In a report by Space.com, it was mentioned that according to NASA, Venus has a very toxic atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide. The report noted that it is permanently shrouded in thick, yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid that trap heat, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. Experts say that it would be nearly impossible for humans to live on Venus. An entry by Sonline on On the Humans to Venus website read, When it came to imagining a permanent home for humanity away from Earth, one challenge always bothered me. I am not an engineer or a scientist, but I have ultimate faith in the abilities of both. Therefore, I always figured that they would be able to overcome the myriad challenges facing us in the extreme environment of space. Radiation, temperature, pressure, food, water, breathable air, etc. All of these could be overcome, it added. The submersible accident raised questions about the unregulated nature of such expeditions as experts across the world asked why private parties ignore safety checks during risky adventure trips. Reports also mentioned that the company had not got a safety audit committed by a third party. Some experts have highlighted that the scope of survival was low, even if a small thing went wrong. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.